successful past couple of games for Abdul offensively. If he starts contributing more down there, how dangerous is your offense really going to become? Well, it's obviously great to see him, uh, you know, gaining confidence and uh, our, our team finding him and feeding him. There's a lot of good passes, and he got a couple of really <coughs> big offensive rebounds against Kansas State. Uh, one was late in the game that was huge. It was about a four-point game, and I think it put it to six. The minute 30 to go, so um, he had to follow one for the dunk. But you know, um, it, it's definitely a positive for us. Go ahead and get it to Paul. Second row to coach's right. Coach obviously, Nick plays with a lot of passion. Always has, and since he started playing basketball, how emotional do you think it's going to be for him Sunday? I know you still got one more game left, but for him to come back Sunday to be his first game, and not only that, to do it in Jackson. Oh, I, I think it's been a long, you know, hard road for him to sit out 20 games. That's difficult. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he missed the, the – really hurt us last year down the stretch, especially in the tournament, uh, not having him against Liberty even the way they were playing small ball. Um, and it's been tough thus far this year. But uh, he'll be excited, and I think it's going to be great to have him uh, back out there, and I know he's looking forward. State of coaches right and Logan on the front row. Man, the way that your team battled back with all the foul trouble and came back and won that game this past weekend, just how much confidence does that give this group? Uh, it was a really important one, Beck. We just uh, watched the second half today. We watched the first half yesterday and the second half today. And you know, a lot of good things to learn from, you know, things we've got to get better at. But what I'm most pleased about, like, we were down, uh, you know, like eight points with eight minutes to go and seven points with eight minutes to go, maybe, and really hung in there. And, even with four minutes ago, we're down three. And, uh, you know, we won by playing good defense and getting some stops that created some offense. In fact, the go-ahead basket by DJ was off of a turnover by our opponent. And I think uh, that was our best defensive game of the year, holding them to 27% in the second half, 32% for the game, 16 turnovers. Uh, really did a good job uh, battling and uh, it was a very physical game, too. You know, you're talking about, I think, 61 foul shots attempted. Um, and so it was a <coughs> real war, uh, an important win for us to get that on a neutral court. Ten questions for Coach. We'll the microphone to you. Let's go ahead and get it back to Garrett here to the front row. <clears throat> Obviously, we said there's one game left before Nick comes back. Is there maybe a temptation around the guys to maybe look past this guy to get with the energy that he's going to bring back on Sunday? To look past what? Or look past Radford tomorrow? Uh, I would think that the last time we played at home was a good example of not looking <laughs> past anybody. Right. Anybody is uh, uh, naive enough to think we can, look, we can look past anybody. Well, then uh, they haven't learned anything. So there's no chance that that's going to happen. And what have you seen from Radford just from a scouting perspective? They played a very difficult schedule. Like they beat Northwestern at Northwestern. They played Bradley really tough, who has a good team. Uh, they have a really good guard who, who can really score. Number one uh, is a good player. Uh, so I'm looking for, for their chat. Uh, uh, yeah, Carlick Jones. Good player. I watched them against UNCG. UNCG was a team that Wofford barely beat in their conference tournament last year to get to the NCAA. UNCG lost to NC State at the buzzer on Saturday, the same day we played Kansas State. And uh, UNCG basically beat them at the buzzer, uh, you know, two games ago. So you know, this, this is a team that's picked to win their conference. Uh, they played a difficult non-conference schedule. And, um, we're going to have to play well to have success. Go ahead and get it to Danny P here in the middle. Coach, Make sure you ask the players about looking past them. <laughs> when they come in here. I want to get some uh, uh, feedback on what they say. Right. Back on the two a little bit, Coach. He's a, he's a veteran around here now, at is, and uh, he's, he's been around the wars of the Southeastern Conference. How, how much do the guys kind of look to him as a leader uh, for the team? Yeah, he definitely leads by example. You know, he goes so hard every day. He's so physical. He's tough. Uh, he's always enthusiastic, helping, you know, his teammates. He's a really good person. 
off the floor, incredibly hard worker, you know, works hard in the classroom, works hard on the basketball floor, is a relentless uh, worker in the weight room. Uh, you know, remember he missed four months for that shoulder surgery, and uh, you know, so I think he's really doing a good job. And um, his physicality is is imposing. I mean, he's physical. You don't want to run into him out there. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited for him. I thought that was a great game for him the other day. He had 13 points, nine rebounds, three blocks. Reggie had four blocks. I think we had eight for the game. Uh, but. Uh, you know, he, he's doing a lot of good things and things that don't show up on the stat sheet with his defense as well. Go ahead, Joe. It's a good problem to have, I know, but with Nick coming back, uh, as well as Iverson's been playing, that, how, how do you kind of shake out those minutes at, at the guard spots with getting, But You know, we're, we're playing too many guys. I think one of the things that's hurt us, you know, Tyson's playing 34 minutes a game, 35. Robert's playing 34, 35. Uh, DJ played 35 minutes. That's too many minutes. I would never want to play someone 35 minutes a game. The max you'd want to play somebody is 30 minutes. So uh, it's going to allow us a lot more flexibility now. Robert had to play a few minutes as the four. You know, I anticipate seeing him playing some minutes here at the four when Nick gets back and giving us that flexibility to play small at times. Uh, but we're just, you know, we're getting a you know, diminishing return when you're playing guys too many minutes. There's no question. Uh, you know, I think we had a great chance to beat Villanova with Nick. I think we we, we would have obviously had a better chance uh, with Louisiana Tech with Nick. I think, you know, we're missing that guy that allows us more time. We, we don't have, we have, uh, we're shorthanded right now in terms of who I trust to put out there that can defend and play against the people we're playing against. So. Yeah, adding him into the lineup is going to be, you know, a, a blessing. And I'm really thankful. I mean, we scheduled our whole season thinking he was going to miss only the first five games. And in some ways it hurt us, uh, but it is what it is. We're a game away from getting him, and we're definitely better with him out there as part of our team. Any other questions for Coach? All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.